So today, uh, my name is Nemanja Peric and uh, also Peter uh, Lagra is going to join me and we're going to do most of the talk talking. However, we are not the only people in the room because RTS SPM was uh, indeed a project which uh, was quite multidisciplinary. So there are also other team members here from the SPM team, such as Thomas Henschel, who is basically our brains of the operation and the inventor of the idea. Then we have Leonard Waters, who is uh, mainly engaged in the fabrication aspects of this technology and uh, also integration with artificial intelligence. Peter, on my right, he's uh, working on the sepal preparation technologies and me, I'm mainly exploring different applications of this new concept. So indeed, it's a completely new concept. It's a novel idea, a shift of paradigm where we usually in scanning probe microscopy, we scan the sample. Here we try to scan the tip instead. And our objective today is try to inspire you or at least to, uh, to trigger your mind in thinking uh, a little bit other way around. So without further ado, I'm gonna become, begin by stating the fundamental challenge in scanning probe microscopy. And as you all, all probably already know, that is that there is a high uh, uh, correlation between the tip quality and the data quality, or in other words, uh, better the tip, better the data. And sadly, this also goes the other way around. And if, for example, we pick a good tip at the start of our measurements and we get great data, the problem is that this integrity of the tip most likely won't be preserved throughout. And this can be for a number of reasons. It can be either due to mechanical wear or loss of coating, contamination, breakage, etc. However, there is a simple solution to this problem, and that is just to replace the bad tip. Now, in scanning probe microscopy, uh, this can be quite a uh, time-consuming and tedious task. So I'm not the most talented operator of AFMs, but here you can see my average times. So to locate, the to measure a certain, certain region of interest and then to change the probe, move again, and then find again the exact same region of interest, it takes me around 10 minutes to complete or so. Now, of course, these things could be done maybe a little bit faster, but then uh, accidents do happen. And during my PhD, at the beginning of my PhD, I was taught a very valuable lens lesson by my mentors. And that is that rushing things in SPM can only lose you time. And that is indeed true. So here we, what we try to do is actually to um, create some kind of a solution to this problem. And this solution now we call reverse tip sample scanning probe microscopy or RTS-SPM. Now, what is RTS-SPM? So, in essence, uh, this is what it is. So, you have your conventional SPM setup where you have tip on the cantilever and the sample resting on the sample stage, as you can see here. In reverse tip sample scanning probe microscopy, these positions are reversed, meaning that now we have the sample on the tipless cantilever and the tip, or better yet, tips, are now integrated into a nanofabricated probe chip. So, this probe chip, it looks something like this, as you can see here in the picture below. So this probe chip can be just placed on the sample stage without any hardware modifications. And this is how RTS configuration looks like once everything is set up. So now we have the sample on the tipless cantilever mounted on the probe holder where the probe used to be. So this simple idea actually has some major benefits, mainly that changing tips now in RTS configuration is really quick and easy. And beyond that, actually what we have is that we have more tips that anyone can ever wish for, 90,000 to be exact. So these tips, well, later on we categorize them into tip sets, tip arrays, for example, of two and a half thousand tips and tip groups, which are composed of 100 tips. So that's a lot of tips at our direct disposal. And we can switch easily between them by just applying an adequate piezo offset, which is going to correspond to the spacing between the tips. So for example, if we're scanning with one tip, it gets blunted or it gets broken. We can just apply a 25 micron piezo offset and the cantilever holding a sample is going to reposition onto a next fresh neighboring tip. As such, this process takes just seconds to comp complete, which is in stark contrast with, for example, standard SPM method, where as you as already shown, it takes me around 10 minutes to do so. And not to mention the, for example, UHV environment, where I can speak from uh, personal experience, where it can take several hours to achieve the same function. 
In addition, uh, RTS is basically a plug and play technology as you just need a probe chip. It's compatible with most operational modes as technically we don't introduce new physics, we just flip things around. And it works with any working environment, being uh, atmosphere or nitrogen or vacuum, etc. So uh, 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 all this together, RTS SPM has uh, potential to be useful in application spaces where we have frequent tip exchanges, such as, for example, multi-tip imaging or multi-tip applications. Then we have correlative SPM, bio-SPM applications where tip contamination is common, and high-force applications where we often break tips. So our mission today is try to explore each one of these together with you. And uh, we aim to do so by, co by covering some of the main aspects of RTS technology. Those are, so in order to perform the RTS SPM measurements, those are uh, probe chip fabrication. We will talk about sample preparation and how to perform measurements themselves. But these, uh, these two we will discuss for on a case by case basis for a given application. So yeah, to begin with probe chip fabrication. So how do we get these probe chips? Well, uh, this year we actually published a paper introducing the RTS concept where we described in detail